today's topic is summer fun. And my topic is redefining innovation. It's seemingly not overlapping at all. But hopefully by the end of this, I, can, I hope you can follow what I'm trying to say in here. One of the big things that, when I was looking at the word summer fun, it jumped up to me immediately. And it just sent me down this journey of memories. All the fun times I had when I was a professional, a professional out there working. But at the same time, in the summertime, I always travel. Beaches in Turkey, different parts of Europe, internationally, and also domestically as well. Vegas, Los Angeles, New York. And every time, I, I just feel the excitement, just thinking about the for just the word summer. I'm like, okay, all right, which which destination am I going this time? Am I going here? Am I going there? Do you guys actually feel that excitement when you say summertime? Okay, anyway, does the, anyone actually have a summer plan already? Besides you, <laughs> you're shaking your head, you're like that, knocking your head already, and you already have a tent. <laughs> So, oh my ladies. Yeah, well, it seems like. <laughs> so, one of the big things about summertime for me as an adult is travel. However, when I was younger, in school, it was mainly about summer camp. Right. Summer camp. I was pretty nerdy when I was a young kid. Um, it was either about language, music, art, science, one was innovation, I don't even know why, actually. But, I think the one that really stick out to me the most, and in terms of summertime fun, was when I was in college, first year to the second year of that summer. This is how it was looking like. After the first year of study. So what am I doing here? What do I want to do? I was a young kid, I don't know what I want. But that one summer changed my career. I was an engineer, I was as low as an engineer. I didn't know whether I wanted to continue as an engineer. I saw one speech delivered by a scientist. And what he talked about was this. LED. Pretty bright, isn't it? And this thing can last for quite a long time. As a matter of fact, scientifically correct, it's about 60,000 hours, each one of these LED bulbs. So, I was just fascinated by this topic, and he might answer, he might ask me, why? Why am I going so crazy about something so small? I have a couple of reasons for you. First of all, I was a young kid, I always want to help people, so one of the first things I want to do is about saving the world. Technology seems to be an obvious choice. People always talk about technology, help people to advance to the next stage of life. Well, that's true, because if you look at energy consumption-wise, LED consume only 1.4% of energy compared to incandescent light bulb. And even if you compare it to a fluorescent light bulb, it still saves more than two and a, uh, actually more than 50% of energy. So I was like, wow, that's a no-brainer. And that was really 13 years ago. Like, Man, I'm really my age. <laughs> and the second reason that I was really liking it so much was actually the aesthetic part of it. It's just aesthetically pleasing to look at. Look at this image in here. LED on a monument, like a bridge. Or even a casino outside sometimes has LED light bulbs. It's just simple, elegant to look at. Which was a, a really big reason for me to go into this field because I was really getting, thinking about changing into architect at that point. So, and at one moment, the scientist actually said, not just LED, something called organic LED, which is a very flexible LED that means this. You can't see the fixture at all. It can integrate into your wallpaper, actually. So what it does is that when you walk into the room, you tap the door or the wall, it just light up. Anyway, you can't see the fixture at all. So what does that even mean? 
infinite, infinite possibilities. You can walk into a room for it's just growing. But you don't have to worry about you're going to break the light because that's not going to happen. So I wouldn't want to do this at that time. When am I going to sign up? But unfortunately, I won't be able to find a job in that area. So let's move on. I still love this particular technology. However, I can't find a job in there. So what am I going to do? I follow up on it occasionally over the last eight years. Where, where has this technology been so far? Well, so far, really been nowhere. It really hasn't get to the point that it's being commercialized, that everyone is using it. Which brings me down to one reason. Technology is simple, it's available. Eight years. Still going nowhere. So science is not a limitation for product integration. Distribution channel and government registration is the big reason, I think. So how do you say, hold on a second, Innovations usually related to science. But obviously, science is not the barrier here. People are barriers. So how are we going to shift this innovations idea into people? So I think first thing that we need to do is to decompose the word innovations. No longer associate to technology at all. It should be about all things about processes, about people, about process channel, um, about distribution channels. It should be all-encompassing. So as a matter of fact, I have two ideas. One, what about incorporating distribution channel modeling to the already existing technology camp? People are already doing it. Probably you already have um, scheduled a new uh, summer camp, as engineering summer camp. Why not incorporating that? Second, why don't you bring along the next generation of youth and get them familiar with politics, government legislation? Why don't we start young? So th these are the two ideas that I have that can help innovations, incorporate in innovations into our life to make it better. As actually one of the inventors of Segway, um, Dean Common actually said, inventing things are simple and easy. The harder things is technology dissemination. So right here, I would like to invite you to think about how you will be able to help us to move forward about our innovation process, no longer related to technology, but for all things in life. Thank you very much.